Now let's talk a little more about becoming. Becoming is actually the subject of the first and second noble truths of the Buddha. There is suffering and there is an origin of suffering. And here is the origin of suffering in a diagram of dependent origination. It begins with ignorance and then it goes through all these other stages until it finally reaches suffering. So this is how suffering comes to be. But there's also the third and fourth noble truths of the cessation of suffering and the noble eightfold path, which is the method or the way to the cessation of suffering. Now, even if you don't know about dependent origination, you're actually using this all the time. The Buddha got this theory from observation. He was watching people, he was watching himself, and how we become. And we become something at every moment. Every moment this process is going on, on different scales. Sometimes it can happen in a matter of microseconds. Other times it can happen in minutes or hours, or days or weeks, or maybe even many lifetimes that we go through these different stages and we become different things according to our intentions. There is a law, the law of dependent origination, the law of kama or karma. And this is how that law works. It doesn't require some external authority uh, like a god who looks over your shoulder every minute and writes down whatever you do. <laughs> it's a ridiculous idea. <laughs> who would want to do that? No. The law of karma works through our own being. It works through our own brains and the laws of nature. It's just that Western science is not aware of these subtle laws of being and becoming. If it were, then we could easily turn this into a very scientific theory and prove it, which actually the Buddha has already done. 